Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nash, and welcome to my channel for another episode of my Stardew Valley 1.6 Let's Play. It is thunderstorming on this Friday. Ah, oh, I am so happy to have rain. If you guys have been watching the previous episodes, you'll know that we have not had rain this entire summer season. Well, okay, we had the green rain once, and then I think we had another thunderstorm one time. But it has been so, so, so bad. Spirits are very displeased today. That's not great. Um, but it has been such a like lack in rain this season, and it honestly has been really sad. Look at this, though. My melons are grown. Oh, this is beautiful. I am going to grab these up. But I'm so excited that we finally have a day with the rain. Let's go check our mail. There's a couple things that I need to do uh today so we'll get into that soon but hi how are you doing i hope you enjoy the gift i've sent you well goodbye says emily that's a cute little what is that it looks like a little french fry with sunglasses on <laughs> i got a sea urchin very cool uh that's such a random gift but i will absolutely take it you guys we got the five golden melons that i need oh that's amazing we need this for the community center, so we are going to take that today. I think I need to take a melon on over to Demetrius. And I also got a letter from, uh, what's his name? Oh my gosh, Grandpa. Hello, Brain. Click, where are you at? Brain, what's his name? Anyways, you guys know George. George, that's his name. He sent me a letter saying that he really wanted a hot pepper. Uh, also, in between episodes, I did finally get a morel uh in the in the little cave our cave thing so really quickly i'm just gonna go check on our animals make sure everybody's good hi cows you guys are beautiful but also very grumpy and hungry <laughs> so i did play a day in between episodes i was trying to get the dang octopus because i've been fighting to get that dang octopus for days and days and days and so i was like you guys have seen enough of that i'm just gonna try to fight for this octopus on my own and sadly i had two octopus bite with the sonar bobber and i didn't get both of them they they slipped by me and i was like really come on now this sucks so a little bit unfortunate but it is what it is so we're just going to start off this episode and I'm not going to do any fishing today. Today the traveling cart is in town, so I'm going to go see if we can get anything good from there. But let's go ahead and start putting all this up. We've got some things to take to the community center. I am so happy, you guys, that we got those five gold quality melons because that is the one bundle in the community center that I have been a little bit worried about is getting the gold quality farm farmables crops that we're kind of getting into crunch time and it's such a gamble whether you're going to get them or not. I feel like we're a high enough farming level where we do tend to get gold quite often like gold quality produce. But at the same time, I'm, I'm just like, ah, you never know. You could just get a bunch of lower qualities and then not get it or you could miss it by one is another thing too. So it's been a little stressful, but I think if we go up here into the pantry, is this where it is? Yeah, quality crops bundle. So we have the five melons. Now we just need to get five pumpkins and five corn. And then we need to take that to Demetrius, that to George, and then we need to put the morel in the other bundle down here. And I think this finishes off a bundle for us, guys. I think we are one step closer to completing the community center. The exotic bundle, yes, finished. Exciting to start off this episode with a bundle complete. There it is. What are we getting as our reward? Some Autumn's Bounty. Okay, foraging and defense. Interesting. That wouldn't be too bad for the mines. And speaking of the mines, if we want to get those sprinklers for next season, we need to get into the mines and get down to the gold level. But uh, so far, so good. I'm very happy with our progress. So let's zip on over and do our deliveries for the day. Give George his hot pepper. Let's actually read this. So it says, where is this one? Knee therapy. George needs a hot pepper to soothe his aching knee. Bring a hot pepper to George. Okay. Wait, did we already do the one? No, crop research. Demetrius needs a fresh melon for his research. Okay. I was like, wait a second. Did I already do that one in a previous episode and just forget? Because that honestly sounds like something I would definitely do. Uh, but here we go, George. I brought you a nice hot pepper. Took you long enough. Hmm. It's been like a day. I think I got that mail yesterday. <laughs> 
well it's good and spicy at least thanks so is he gonna eat it and it's gonna help his knee is he gonna like rub it on his knee like icy hot or something i don't know uh so you're a farmer huh at least it's honest work alex what's up what do you want why why so abrasive i just wanted to come say hello i've got more important things to do right now i feel like he was so nice to us and then now he's being kind of mean i don't understand that when i wake when i woke up i heard the dripping from somewhere i think the roof might be leaking in the old days george would have scampered right up to fix it hmm. it'd be kind of cool if we could do things like that if we could have little quest to help the villagers but 200 gold from george let's see what's on the board also do we have anything happening today nope nothing happening until the dance of the moonlight jellies at the end of this video which will be very fun slime hunter slays six frost jellies okay i do want to get down into the mines so potentially we could do that today i really want to go get a new weapon that is something we need to do so let's go say hi to Demetrius. I didn't go see the traveling cart. Dang it. I kind of actually really wanted to do that. Mm, anyways, let's go see if Demetrius is in here and give him this melon. He is beautiful. Okay, Demetrius, I have your crop research. And it's perfect for the laboratory here. This is perfect. <laughs> That's what I just said. Uh, it's just what I need for my research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. Greetings. Stay inside if you want to keep warm. All right. Let's check off this journal entry. 550 gold. This is going to be great money. So we have the frost jellies. Oh, and then also Sam had one yesterday. And he says, I would like a cute girl to bring me an earth crystal from Sam. It sounds like that's a little bit targeted to me. And speaking as he's probably going to be my future husband, I think he's flirting with me a little bit. And I approve. I think it's really cute. So I kind of want to do that today. Uh, let's go see if we can check the traveling cart. We'll have the afternoon to go into the mines. And then let's see if we can deliver that earth crystal as well. Okay, so the real test is going to be if I even have an earth crystal, and I do. Nice. All right, so we're going to go down to the bottom of the farm, loop around, and see if we can find Sam. Oh, if we can deliver this, that'd be great, because if it gets our friendship up, I mean, hey, that's going to get me closer and closer to Sam and closer and closer to being a married woman in this game, and that sounds fun, I guess. <laughs> I've actually never married someone in this game, so that would officially be my first time, and I think it would be kind of awesome, so... I'm, I'm pretty excited, but anyways, let's see what's going on. We have a sprinkler, green bean, corn, uh, algae soup, a walleye. I need that for the community center. And that would finish a bundle for us. And then I wouldn't have to worry about it for tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, for next season. Tiger trout. Wait, I need a tiger trout and a walleye for the community center. Apricot. Oh my god. I'm going to finish those bundles today. I know I can catch them, but you guys have seen me do so much fishing in this series. Those are literally the last two fish. How is that even possible? That's so lucky. Those are the last two fish I need. And they're both... Oh, wait, no. The, the tiger trout is not a rain fish, but the walleye is. Interesting. They're both fall fish, too. Those are... Uh, that's crazy. That's wild, you guys. I am... I can't believe the luck we have there. Oh, hi, Nash. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. I would love to play the drums for them. That would be so fun. Uh, we're trying to start a band, but we still don't know what kind of music to make. There's too many possibilities. Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of a stressful situation. Possibly I could help. Say, Nash, what kind of music do you like? Cheerful pop music, experimental noise rock, high energy dance music, or honky tonk country music? I tend to lean towards, uh, like, cheerful pop music. I don't see them as, like, a cheerful pop band, though. Maybe I could see them as more, like, high-energy dance music or noise rock, but let's do high-energy dance. Hey, you know what? That's exactly what kind of style I've been thinking about for the band. Hey, that's what I like to see. What do you say, Sebastian? Should we do this? Okay. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna give it a go. They're doing the high energy. Thanks for the help, Nash. With my guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer, we're going to be a screaming success. I'm convinced of it. And I'll be here for you every step of the way, my husband. 
Now I just need to find someone to play drums. Like I said, I would I would love to be cracking on some drums. But look at him go. I love that I can go in his room and see him like pl playing the guitar. That's so nice. Hey, thanks a million, Nash. I should have known you'd be the one to take this job. Yeah, because I'm a cute farmer girl. <laughs> Sam is busy practicing the guitar. I do feel like he uh, kind of ignores me to skateboard and game and practice guitar a lot though, but that's fine. Oh no, mom is making lentil soup tonight. Oh, you're not a fan of lentil soup? The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. What do you mean? You should shop at Pierre's and support the local economy. Okay, let's go deliver the last fish that we need. Well, technically not the last fish because we need um, either a lava eel, scorpion, carp, octopus, or blob fish to finish up the 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 community center. But the last actual like bundle fish we need. So river. Tiger trout, bada bing, bada boom. Bundle complete, holy cow, we're making so much progress. The traveling cart really, really came in handy today. That was awesome. And then the night fish, the walleye, boom, done. I cannot believe it. That That's the fastest I've probably ever done this in my life. We got another glow ring. I have like four of these at this point. That's so funny. So yeah, the, the master fish bundle is the last one. So we just need to get a lava eel if we could get the dang octopus, that would be so fantastic. So I know you guys have seen so many fishing episodes, but I think tomorrow might be the day that I try for the octopus and hopefully get it because my goodness, I need that stinking octopus so bad. If we could get that, that would be great. And then I'm thinking either the scorpion carp, which we can find in the desert once we open up the bus or the lava eel are going to be easy. The blobfish, we have to wait until later. So... I'm not really going to try for that one. Hey, Linus, what's up? Please don't destroy my tent. I would never. We got some wormies. Just clay. Okay. So I have a ton of energy today. I am going to go continue to clear out the spot over here with the bridge that we found in a previous episode. I need to just clear out this whole area because it is cluttered and so hard to navigate. But I've been trying to clear out this area because I want to start decorating it soon with you guys in a video. And it's just every time I try to come over here and decorate it, I have no energy to do it. So I've been just slowly chugging away at kind of clearing out the area where Grandpa Shrine is. And it's been slow, but it is going to be good once we get it cleared out. So I'm just going to probably spend the rest of the night uh, collecting all the wood from this and... Again, like I said, just clearing out the space so that we can build what we're going to build here later. I don't think I've officially told you guys my plan yet. Uh, it's going to be a cute one. It's going to be fun once we actually do it. But I still I think I want to keep it under wraps just so uh, it can be exciting for the future video. But if you guys would like to speculate what we're going to put here down in the comments section, please do. I would love to know what you guys think we're going to put here. Could it be could be anything you could put on the farm? What do you what do you guys think? All right, so I got most of it cleared out and it is looking pretty good. So this is the area that we have to work with. Uh just got a couple more things to clear out, but I am stoked to see what that looks like. That's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh once we start decorating it, that's going to come in a future episode. Just got to kind of have money for it too. Yeah, there's it's gonna be cool once we once we decorate that. Anyways, it's getting late. I've gotta go to sleep. Let's go ahead and get on to tomorrow in game where I'm catching this dang octopus, you guys. I have to. I only have a couple more days and I've I've gotta do it. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful sunny morning. Let's check the TV as we usually do. Spirits. Oh, it's going to be clear and sunny. Perfect weather for the dance of the moonlight jellies. This event will take place on the beach starting between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Don't be late. So it is a nighttime festival. It's going to be really exciting and beautiful and I can't wait to see it. It's probably my favorite festival in the game of Stardew Valley. The spirits are very happy today. That is what we like to hear. So... Looks like we got a blueberry harvest and we got a little, little bit more melons, but we will come back for this later because, again, like I told you guys, we are going to quickly, very, very, very quickly go and see if we can catch this dang fish that I have been fighting to catch for so dang long. 
It's driving me crazy. You guys have no idea. Oh, it's like the one thing. It's the one thing I need and the one thing I want. We need it for the dang bundle. So I'm sorry you guys have to have to go through me fishing so much, but I'm telling you, like, we gotta get it. We gotta get it. So I'm going to really, really focus on catching these fish. And um, I, I guess I will come back with you guys once we get one. We got a treasure chest. Our first chest of the day. We got some extra bait. I will take it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Come on, octopus. Come on, octopus. We need an octopus. There it is. Ah! Oh! <laughs> uh, why does it act like that? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Why? Why did it shoot up like that? <laughs> it's so frustrating. Uh, my tackles ran out. Dang it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go see if we can buy a different tackle. Is, uh, oh, Willie's not here. I guess, I don't think he works on Saturdays. Dang it. Good. We're getting lots of halibut. Anything? Oh, ha! Ah, oh, ha! Ah, fire quartz! I mean, I, that's another community center bundle done. Oh my goodness. We're cruising on community center progress today. I am super excited about that. I'm trying to get the chest when I can. I got a chicken statue. Nice. And a little bit more bait, which we can attach. That's very good. I have one more, one more hour to catch this octopus. And I don't know, guys. It's not looking like we're going to get it. Ugh, this is gonna be I feel like this is gonna become a a thing on this series where it's uh like when will Nash get the octopus? It'll be like an elusive thing that <laughs> that I struggle with for the remainder of this series. When do you guys think I'm gonna get the octopus? Cause because at this point I I really don't know. It'll be interesting to see, but uh it's been such a struggle for me. I'm really curious how the legendaries will go then. Oh, this is that was it that was another one right there that one almost like teased me too and didn't seem like one you usually get two uh within the time of like before 1 p.m i think i've gotten two most every time i've tried when i came as early as possible trying to catch this octopus i have like 20 more minutes in game 10 more minutes in game to catch this and it's I don't think it's gonna happen but it's okay oh my god i'm so silent right now <sighs> don't lose it now nash don't lose it now don't lose it now just stay s slow and steady slow and steady stay with it 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 you got this girl you got this octopus puffer fish damn it <laughs> i thought <laughs> dang it <laughs> i was thinking <laughs> i was so into that being an octopus Going in the trash, you stinky puffer fish. I'm sorry, I shouldn't treat it like that. It's it's a it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sea creature. Still, gosh darn it, that makes me so sad. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this chocolate cake <laughs> to make me feel better. Not not uh too far off from what I normally do. Got a couple more broccoli seeds, and then we have a book here that we can pick up too. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna eat this mushroom ladder as well i guess i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i have so much food on my inventory um oh Haley, i would like to give you a sunflower if i can you've already given Haley two gifts dang it okay i have been gifting her quite a lot this week i'm trying to get our friendship up what does this mean oh two times attack fried mushrooms okay interesting i guess i should have eaten that when i was actually in the mines but I just kind of wanted to get it out of my inventory, to be honest with you guys. And sometimes I don't play as, like, most logical player. Like, if I want to clean out my inventory, I'm just going to do it. I probably could have thrown it on the ground and then came and picked it up later. Yes, I could have done that. Honestly, too, though, I need the energy because we have one more day of all of our crops. And I do want to water them and make sure that we get all this going. But uh, another thing I need to do is I need to resituate our farm here because I think I want a different layout for next season. Anyways, we have a lot, a lot of fish to sell. So let's get this going. We have Jack be nimble. I think that was someone's, someone has a loved gift of that. So that would be kind of cool to, 
to take on over to them. Uh, I can't remember who it is, though. I want to say it was Alex. Yeah, it's Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick, and Alex likes it. And I found that funny because Alex is like a macho, like, he likes uh, working out kind of, kind of guy. And so I thought it was funny that he would like a book called, like, Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick. Like, he'd be thick because, you know, I have a feeling that um, Alex wants to, like, be thick. All right, blueberry harvest. I think this is going to be the last one of the season that we get. Kind of sad that I was only able to uh, get half of these done. If you guys are wondering, like, why do they look so weird? Why do you only have half? It's because I was only able to water half of them. Uh, and that was just my bad. Okay, so the fire quartz and the frozen tier, we need to take over to the community center. So definitely going to do that today. And then I'm trying to think, uh, Jack being nimble, Jack be thick, we could put you up here. And then I do need to get all of my crops watered and take care of my animals. And then we'll head on over to the community center. Hello, my little cows. How are you guys doing today? Rubius and Luna. Hello, my cute little chickies. Are you guys sleeping? I guess you could get a little bit of time outside. They probably won't even want to go outside though today. All right, time to head over to the community center and turn these in. And I believe that completes another bundle for us. So I've had a lot of bundle progress in today's episode, which is kind of surprising because I wasn't really going to focus on that for today. I didn't really have a plan on what I was going to focus on today, but it definitely wasn't that. But I'm glad that we are getting it done. Right, going in and going to sleep. I'm kind of surprised I actually haven't leveled up fishing uh, because we've been doing so much fishing. Man, we are making so much money. $8,000 just from that day alone. That's, that's wild. I really haven't even been focusing on my money much lately. So the fact that we have 26,000 is pretty crazy, but uh, it's going to be clear and sunny all day. Tomorrow's the first day of fall, you guys. Ah, I'm stoked for it. Also, the traveling merchant is in town, so I want to go check that out. The spirits are very displeased today. Oh, that's not what I like to hear. Bread. Bread making can be a very complex form of art, but I'll make it simple for you. The most important ingredients are flour, of course, but before we create the dough, you'll need to act we'll need to activate our yeast. They prefer warm water and a little something to feed on. I use plain sugar, but honey or maple syrup will do. So we learn to cook bread. Very nice. And you know what we should do? We should upgrade our house. Ah, oh, we got another blueberry harvest today. And my melons are done. Oh, this is perfect timing for the end of the season. I got new ideas to sleep on. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We level up farming. That is so good. Um, I don't need to, to water these because it's the last day of the season. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell everything. Selling all of it. What about this? We got some mails. Probably about the... Oh, it's not. I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. I bet you can put it to some good use. Take care, says Jody. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Tonight around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss it. See you tonight, Demetrius. Oh, you definitely will see me there. I am not going to miss that for sure. Okay, I'm going to use my last warp totem to the beach to head on over actually you know what let's go to the traveling cart first is it there this early in the morning i will come say hi to all of my animals later on in the nighttime when we get back or in between probably the time that we go to the festival and we do our fishing uh but i gotta hurry and get to the car i just want to see if there's like if there's anything if there's like a gold bar there that would be really nice if there is a lava eel that would be nice or oh my gosh imagine they're selling an octopus what would i even do what would I even do? I don't even know. Anyways, we got a tilapia, morel, stepping stones, radish, cloth, hops, bok choy, spring onion, large egg, house plant, stir fry, rare seed. Okay. I don't really want any of those. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I am going to warp tone to the beach. Let's go. Let's try to catch this dang octopus. Today's festival is being... That just wasted my warp totem. I can't go to the beach today. Oh, this is just where my lack of Stardew Valley knowledge comes, like, kicks me in the butt. Dang it. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess what we'll do 
Ah, oh, that sucks, you guys. My hunt for the elusive octopus is going to continue into another season. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Okay, well, anyways, anyways, I am going to take down these crops and we are going to reformat my farm here a little bit because I don't really like the way that it's uh, laid out currently. I don't not like it, but I feel like we could do a little bit better of a job here. So I am just going to go ahead and take care of some of this. So what I'm first going to start off by doing is taking out this path that's already here. We're going to be getting rid of all of the remaining crops because we don't need them. They, they're not going to produce anything for us tomorrow. And we don't have any crops that go into the next season. So uh, yeah, we can just pretty much get rid of all of these. Okay, I'm gonna eat a little bit of Autumn's Bounty. Uh, just to get our energy up here. This is taking a lot of my energy, but that pretty much filled my entire bar. So that is beautiful. Let me go ahead and clear out some of these trees. This is, uh, they're in the way and I can't really see. We're gonna pretty much fill up this entire space with some more crop plots, but just did a little bit of a different uh, style, a little bit of a different design because the layout that we currently had, I just, I, I don't know. I didn't, wasn't really feeling it that much. So I think this layout is going to be quite a bit bigger than what we originally had. But we are just going to come down here like so. Uh, possibly not there. I'm not quite sure how far we go down. So I did plan this out in a little Stardew Valley uh, kind of planning website, which I am obsessed with. They are so much fun. If you haven't done it, you guys, you definitely need to give it a try. But we have, let's see, one, two, three. And then I think this is the row where our farm is going to start. So if we kind of come over with our path block and meet these up. I think that's how that's gonna go. Um, we might do something a little bit different with this corner, so maybe actually let's take these down. This is kind of fun. I'm actually excited we get to plan out the farm a little bit today. So I think this is where we wanna start and we wanna go over by three and then we'll have a patch here and it'll kind of go all the way down. So one, two, three, one, two, three and then this is where we are gonna go over yeah because we can't plant here so it makes it a little awkward actually i'm kind of feeling like we move this down by one and then we come over this way and there's actually a little seed here that i did not see but then we can come over like this and then this will be uh three there so it'll be three three and three um nine going down and then this will be kind of its own little section and we'll have this be a smaller section and then we'll have a really big section in the middle and then we'll have another smaller section over on this side is how i'm thinking the layout's gonna go okay so then this big section is going to go over by one two three and then we'll have one two three 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 okay so this is going to be the entire length of this section here mm, okay with how big i plan to make this this is going to be massive um it's actually going to encroach on the house a lot more than what it seems like is in my planner so that's quite quite interesting so if we do this it's going to be all the way up here so Possibly what we're gonna do is actually just we're gonna take off this top layer and um, Yeah, I think that's what we'll do because it's gonna be so close to the house uh, To what I originally planned and that doesn't make a whole lot of sense So I'm gonna have to finish this up probably tomorrow because the dance of the moonlight jellies is about to start And I definitely don't want to miss it. So I'm gonna start heading down to the festival the dance of the moonlight jellies has begun at the beach. We are just in time for the festivities to get started. So again, this is one of my absolute favorite festivals. I definitely want to go around and talk to everybody. See if everybody has something to say. I did not know they fixed this bridge for the festival. Is that new? I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. Oh, I feel ya. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I wouldn't say that. I think I'm just exploring. I'm here to observe the Lunaloos, or Moonlight Jellies as they call them. They possess an unusual potent magical aura with, uh, for an aquatic life form. Interesting. Hmm. A, pot 
a potent magical aura. Oh, there's so many people over here. Hey, Demetrius, what's up? The moonlight jellies, what a remarkable speci species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their long journey south. Oh, absolutely. This would be such a cool thing to see in real life. It's unknown why they are attracted to light. Very curious. Ah, that's why all the candles are around the beach. Yawn, it's past my bedtime. Robin, this is such a good event. Hey, did you see the candle boat? I crafted it myself. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. I am very excited for fall. Oh, I absolutely can't wait. It's going to be so fun getting into a new season, you guys. Like, the plans we're going to do, the things we're going to do, the fish we're going to catch, the just everything, the quests we're going to get down in the mines. It's going to be a grand time. I can't wait. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? Oh, I didn't say anything, George. I think you are, are, are fine to do whatever you want, sir. I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. But that was long ago. I'm a lot less energetic now. I like the little green fireflies floating around the beach, too. It's like they're, they're calling to the, the jellies themselves as, like, one... That's a heavy load of, uh, that's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stand over here and hear the beach. Fair enough. Alex, what's up? I can't believe summer's over. I feel like it's just started. What's up, Haley? I'm gonna take a picture of the jellies when they arrive. Oh yeah, she is like super into photography, isn't she? I think that's really cool. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Moonlight jellies, I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. I don't think I would try it either. No way, Jose. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. What about you, Caroline? These candles are romantic, aren't they? Yeah, where's Sam? <laughs> where's my future husband? Ah, oh, the Moonlight Jellies banner, cloud decal, starport decal, that's really pretty. Modern rug or sea foam pudding. Ah, interesting. Okay, so I don't think we need any of those things. We already talked to Penny. Is there anybody else? Oh yeah, there's tons of folks down here. Sebastian says, I thought it would I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Hmm, what could that be? Just trying to scare you. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh such a rare and exciting thing. Ah, Sam, hi. I wonder if they're poisonous. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely don't do that. That might be bad. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. It really is. I hope there are. Uh, I hope there are babies this year. I think there are babies. I think we uh, can see those. Uh, there. I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. But I don't think the jellies have come yet, though. Look out there at the endless sea, deep waters, all kinds of life. Forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? A little bit. Are you guys afraid of the ocean or do you like the ocean? I like the, I like staying close. Like I like going in the ocean, but staying close to the shore. Not once you get out. I've definitely been taken down by a couple waves before and it is quite scary when you get trapped under a wave. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Oh, Clint, you've got some such nice shoes, my guy. Are those new? They look so fancy. Where'd you get those? <laughs> Just trying to make him feel better, okay, guys? If you keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. That is true. Oh, Willie, how are you feeling about tonight? Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. Hmm. All right, good evening, Nash. The moonlight jellies are close. I already see one glowing in the distance. Once we launched, launched the candle boat, they'll come up to the, to the dock and say hello. I'm getting tongue twisted. There is the little candle boat. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Yeah, I think we should go for it. It's time, guys. We are gonna take on the moonlight jellies. All right, Mayor Lewis. Time to do it. Yay! It's our first year of the Moonlight Jellies Festival. Look at Haley with her camera out. She's ready. Everyone's sitting around the docks waiting. I like that Alex is with his uh, his grandparents over there. That's nice. There they are. The beautiful bioluminescent jellies. Coming up to say hello. So we got to spot a baby jelly. Because Jas really wanted to see a baby jelly. And I think there are some. Oh, and I love the music of this festival too. It's so nice. There's so many. Ah, 
<laughs> Look at that. See, there's babies. See the little ones? Oh, they're so cute. They move so much faster, too. Oh, I love it. They're, they're just so excited. Oh, and they came right up to her, too. It's like they know. What a fun event. Oh, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Everyone's here in town. Everyone's having a good time and just... Oh, look at that one. Look at that fancy one right there. Oh, there you go, Haley. Get your pictures. The glow of summer has faded now and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown. Oh, that's so nice. What a, what a beautiful thing. What a beautiful event. So we didn't get to finish our, um, our crop fields, but that's okay. Uh, we can finish them up in the next episode, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'm excited because the next episode, we are moving on to fall. And we did level up farming, so I want to see what we get. We unlocked the keg recipe. Yes, 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 yes. Finally! Oh, that is so exciting. Oh, I am so happy about that because another bundle is to be completed. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of my 1.6 Stardew Valley Let's Play. I always have so much fun with this series, you guys already know. So thank you if you are enjoying it along with me. And if you're playing along with me, I hope your farm is doing really good. Thank you to my patrons who always support and who are just the best, sweetest people. Thank you, thank you, and I hope to catch you in the next episode for the first day of fall. <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a very beautiful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye, guys!